The islands in the Pacific Ocean have particular vulnerabilities and face challenges when it comes to access to clean water, affordable electricity, or even basic foods. If we consider the climate projections that include ocean acidification, rising temperatures, and changing rainfall patterns, those issues only get exacerbated. However, what those islands have in common is the open ocean as a resource. The ocean can provide food for fisheries and aquaculture, potable water, and is also a source of energy. Combining the different uses of the ocean is a key aspect in contributing to the water, energy, and food sectors, which can be achieved through OTAC. OTAC stands for Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion. Its main principle is to use the temperature difference in the ocean which is between surface water and deep sea water to generate electricity on a thermal cycle. What makes OTAC so special is the fact that we are extracting deep sea water in the process. This water has special properties and can be used in many different ways. It can serve as ocean fertilizer, helping us harvest different marine species. It can be used for soil cooling in greenhouses, for air conditioning, for coral conservation, and very importantly, for desalination. All of these activities can be established by combining OTAC with deep sea water industries, which has already been done at the Komejima Island in Okinawa. The Komejima plant has been boosting the local economy for different industries, including aquaculture, setting a precedent for OTAC in the small islands. For my research, I am evaluating the ocean thermal resource in the Pacific region to find islands that are suitable for this technology. I have used existing ocean data sets to analyze the temperature profile, and what I found is that many of these islands are located in areas with high surface temperature, where temperature difference is higher, which is the key variable for OTAC. However, one of the issues I found is that the available global data sets are not suitable for analysis in small areas due to their low resolution. For this reason, I am adopting different techniques to downscale this data to a point where I can reliably represent the local climate. After the downscaling process, the next research steps include quantifying the thermal energy, estimating costs, and studying possible uses for deep sea water based on each island's needs. My goal is to provide information on how feasible is OTAC as an alternative solution to the current issues in the region, how it will contribute to the progress of sustainable development in the energy, water, and food sectors, and lastly, how it will help increasing the local resilience. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.